Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. I think I took about almost two weeks off from uploading um, since my dental surgery. Yeah, um, come Thursday it will be two weeks since I have gotten my dental extraction and implant. The surgery actually went really well and um, during the recovery, I think just the first week, I felt a little bit of discomfort and I didn't, I wasn't even on any painkillers after the second day of the surgery. Um, so like at most, I think the pain level just got to a level maybe just on a scale from 1 to 10, maybe just like a 4. But it took a lot out of me. I feel like I actually attempted to make a video but then I just got so tired and then whenever I feel tired or like I'm working a little bit hard like watering plants or sweeping the floor then it kind of aggravates the the um the pain so i just decided to take it easy honestly life has been really busy um the summer here and so beautiful so even though i want to like just take it easy I, we i'm out with wolfie every day we're going to the water parks and like having lots of play dates and uh, but yeah i feel much better now and uh this Thursday, I'm gonna go back in. They're gonna take an x-ray to see if the bone is growing back and then they're gonna remove the stitches. And then uh, in about another like two and a half months time, then they will put uh, like a crown on it. Right now it's just like a metal plate in there. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in this. If you are not, maybe just skip ahead. But I have so much anxiety about going to the dentist. I've had really traumatic experiences with them when I had my wisdom teeth pulled out. It, uh, I had to go to the emergency room quite a few times after that. There was dry socket and my whole mouth was like covering canker sore and I think it permanently damaged my jaw. Like if I go to the dentist and I open my mouth for too long then my jaw kind of locks and like just the idea or like knowing that that's a possibility just gives me so much anxiety when I go into like lay down in the dentist chair and um yeah so like the week before uh my surgery i really like was trying to prepare myself for this i actually just decided to quit drinking coffee because of some like anxiety issues that i was having i just thought you know like i don't metabolize coffee so well it gives me like it amplifies my anxiety so i decided to quit quit coffee the week before my surgery which was really helpful because i feel like my heart wasn't beating as like so fast when i was um at the dentist and my dad had the same surgery done uh, but he had three extractions and implants done at the same time so he kind of gave me some tips of like amping up my vitamin c and like omega-3 to uh, boost my immune system and lower the inflammation before the surgery so i felt like much more confident going into it and then i was also doing some like mental like i was reminding myself to to that i could breathe and also like if i'm too anxious to like pay attention to other sensations like sound or smell or like just keep remembering to breathe so i feel like i handled the surgery quite well and the recovery actually went pretty well um, and i didn't get any canker sores from the trauma around my mouth so anyway so everything just when as well as it possibly could have and my jaw did lock a couple times but it went back into place really quickly so it wasn't a big deal yeah so that's a little bit of like what happened uh, I, I don't know if it was interesting to you but it's actually like a really big deal to me because like having the surgery done felt more scary to me than actually giving birth to wolfie it's it's that anxiety inducing for me but I feel much better now. Uh, to, in today's video, I guess the title would have shown you already. I'm going to show you a little bit of a plan haul um, over the past, I think, month and a bit. Uh, most of them are Hoyas, and I have one philodendron, one begonia, one alocasia, and, and one um, moranta. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Hoyas to show you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into looking at the plants. I think I'll just get the non Hoya plant, show you guys the non Hoya plants first, and then we'll look at the Hoyas. The first one I want to show you is actually a tray that I did with uh, my friend Mimi. She has become like a fast friend with like 
plants. Um, she has so many, she grows beautiful plants and I love buying plants from her and trading plants with her. She saw one of my videos and reached out and asked if she could tray or buy a cutting of my Clemenciorum. I was really happy to make a tray from her because she has, um, just given me such beautiful plants at such like at such awesome prices so i was really happy to like have something that she wants to and um, the plant that i actually traded with her for is um a begonia silver dollar i actually have a baby one already but hers is like more mature and i think it's just so pretty <laughs> this is the begonia silver dollar look at that it has this like pink silver color to it that's very very unique i don't have any plants that's like this color and um so like when the leaf when the plants are a little bit more juvenile it looks kind of like this and um yeah i really love how how pink and silvery and like pillowy this plant is and that's so pretty i you guys i have really like fallen in love with begonias so much since i got the terrarium and i have the opportunity to grow like begonias a little bit more it's just they're so beautiful if they're it, under the right condition they grow quite fast and i find that their roots are pretty robust too um yeah so i am really appreciating them they're, and they're so gorgeous i actually made a tray uh for a grow tan and begonia with my friend amanda and i have so many new begonias to show you guys but i'm gonna film that video maybe at another time um yeah but uh, i just wanted to let you know i'm just so in love with begonias at the moment and you know like my begonia simba is like one of my like deepest loves so this is the first one, the Begonia Silver Dollar. I think it's so pretty. Yeah, I'm keeping this in my Exoterra too. I am sure it probably will do okay in just like room environment, but I mentioned this many times before. I just want to protect my Begonias from powdery mildew and it seems like they do better. None of my Begonias in like the Grill Tan or the Exoterra has ever had powdery mildew. So that's kind of how I've decided that I'm going to grow my begonias. Oh, yeah. I'm also like, I just wanna say I'm really sorry I haven't been keeping up with replying to you guys' comments. I have just been, yeah, really tired and yeah. Anyways, I hope you understand. Okay, and the next plant I want to show you is a wishlist plant for a super long time. Uh, I finally found someone locally that has a cutting to spare and it's just one leaf and this is the Marenta Silver Band. I know this is like not much of a looker, but it is so hard to find a plant of this. And um, it's a cutting and I have been trying to root it this way in perlite for I think almost two weeks now, but nothing is happening. I don't know. Do you guys think I should move it into soil? Sometimes I feel like plants root better in like dense soil. Um, but but yeah, I am really happy to have this and I really hope that it roots and like grows into a little plant for me. I, I have admired this plant for, for years. It's just impossible to find um, in Canada where I am in BC. I just have not had any luck. So I was really happy that this uh, woman uh, locally is willing to share a cutting with me. But yeah, I needed to root. And that's the second one. Um, and the third plant, so like it's a philodendron solderite and I already have a philodendron solderite, but it just is not growing well. And uh, I was inspired by Charmaine. She's like, she's going to grow a solderite forest. And I was thinking, I love this plant so much. Why not get another one since my first one is not growing well? I'll have um, two and I'll just like, um, hold, like care for the, uh, this new one maybe in a little bit of a different way, give it the lazy moss pole to start and then see how things go. But yeah, so that's what I decided to do. And here is the plant. I think Sauteroy is just such a beautiful plant. And yeah, immediately after I got it, I set it up on Le Charmaine on Plant Parenthood's um, lazy moss pole method. And uh, you can see the Area root has already like really grown into the back of the the set setting the setup. 
the pull <laughs> but like the newest leaf is still like growing it's not as big but i think you know it just moved here um so it's just kind of taking its time right now it's living in my grill tin and i think that's where i'm gonna keep it that's really like w one pretty much like thrip safe zone in my house so um, i'm keeping a lot of my like precious plants in there of course like so many of my plants are precious but a lot of them have already been exposed to thrips and i just have to like stay on top of cleaning them um, but these ones that haven't been exposed to thrips i just kind of want to keep them away for as long as possible there you go such a pretty plant this is a slightly smaller size leaf than the one that i already have but it's fuller and it's really pretty. Although the bottom leaves, I'm already, I have already lost one bottom leaf and this one seems to be on its way out too. So yeah. Okay, so this is the third plant. Finally, the, the last non Hoya plant is a alocasia. So this alocasia, it's an alocasia that I um, rotted and killed and my friend Jane, she wanted to trade uh, for some mi um, micro, is it micro? Like small begonia with me and um, I had told her that I wanted to, she has lots of corms of her variegated, um, her like alocasia free deck and I had told her that I had wanted to buy one from her but she said she wasn't sure if they're, they're gonna grow out to be green or have variegation so she wanted me to wait a little bit but anyways when she wanted to get um, a begonia from me she said that we can make that tray and just see how it goes if, if the corn is gonna grow out to, um, to be variegated and the little corn has, has grown out now and look focus what's happening it has some variegation for the first leaf so that's really exciting um, I don't know how like the subsequent leaves are going to be. Um, another thing that's interesting is she has um, propagated the corn in this like I think tree fiber or I'm not sure like I'm not familiar with this medium but uh, the rue has started to like grow a little bit over and I think I need to give it maybe just a little bit more substrate. Nah, I think it's still okay. I'll just leave it. But yeah. This is a little cutie pie. All right, guys, so now let's look at the Hoyas that I have recently acquired. Actually, <clears throat> so I got this alocasia, the corn from <clears throat> Jing Mom and Plants on Instagram. And I also got a Hoya Germany cutting from her. I have seen Hoya Germany like pictures everywhere and I have had opportunities to buy it before, but I was never really in love with it until I saw this cutting of hers and I was like, can I have this one? So yeah, I bought this cutting from her unrooted. Um, it's still rooting right now. And this is the beautiful Hoya Germany. Look at that. The leaves is, the leaf is huge and the venation is so stunning. Such a beautiful plant. Yeah, and I'm so grateful that she was willing to share it with me. Oh, it's feeling a little bit more firm than I had checked before. Maybe it has started to root a little bit. There you go, beautiful. That's kind of funny. I didn't realize that I have yet an, like another plant that I bought from her. This one I bought from her website. Um, yeah, planhappens.com. This one I got it from her, her website. And it's just this little cutie... Um, Hoya, she labeled it Loi, maybe Pro, Province, is it? Well, I'll double check the name and put it on the screen, but I just thought it was super cute. I don't have any Hoya like this, this shape and size, and I like, you know, I like splashy Hoyas. I just thought this is such a little cutie pie. Um, it's really well rooted in sphagnum moss, but it hasn't. Um, started growing yeah which is fine i was just looking at uh, my hoya sweet scent and uh, i've had that hoya since the very beginning so like maybe three or four years now and for the first i would say two years it stay like a two leaf plant no growth at all and now it's like such a full plant it's like really regularly growing 
It just like reminds me that I have to be, like with Hoyas, I just have to be patient. As long as I don't give them root rot, um, they will eventually hit a growth spurt. This story kind of like repeats itself with different Hoyas, like some that I've had just such a long time and doesn't grow and then finally it started to grow new leaves. So just, yeah, reminder for myself to stay patient. So this Hoya is called Hoya SP PNG SV439. And I received the Hoya and I pretty much just like chop the roots off and start to reroot in my own medium. But I think it's a really beautiful Hoya and the leaves are really firm right now. It seems like to be in pretty good shape. And there is a little bit a sign of new growth on the side so that's pretty cool yeah so for the hoyas that i am like trying to reroute um right now i have a lot of like cocoa house chips and i really like using cocoa house chips too um i just put them in cocoa house chips and then i uh, lock in the moisture on the top with um sphagnum moss and kind of like tuck it into place too i don't know i, I quite like doing that but yeah this is uh the next one and this one definitely has not rerouted it feels quite limp but the splashes are so just so gorgeous look at that i already have a hoya Mikel or michelle but it's not nearly as splashy as this i think it's so beautiful yeah it is. I was keeping these in my cabinets, um, cabinet, Ikea cabinet, and then I had just recently moved it into the grow tent because I think it's a little bit warmer in the grow tent. It could like help boost up the rooting process a little bit faster. There's that one. And then I got a Hoya from um, Tropical Supplies. Um, and he's like based in Canada too. And I have purchased many Hoyas from him in the past. I actually tried to like um, bid for this one. It, it was uh, not this particular plant, but he had a mega blast. There's a mega blaster, mega laster um, in his auction, and I was like trying to bid for it, but I lost the bid. But he still had listed a few more on his website, and I just bought it for like a little bit more, a few more dollars. Not too, not too much more than I bid for. Bid it for. Isn't it so pretty? Yeah, I think this is such a gorgeous, handsome Hoya. There's that one. And then last but not least, um, oops, my I got a Hoya Loisian Drew Sienna. Also, this is my, the second time I got this one. I have another one that uh, is much smaller and I guess I just got a little bit impatient for waiting for it to grow and I really like this Hoya so I just went ahead and picked up another one when I saw the opportunity. I know it's really greedy but I don't know some plants I just you just love and you just want to have more than just one. Which is why Hoyas are so awesome because you can like propagate them and you could just keep having more and more if they grow well for you. This is such a pretty Hoya. Oh, so this is not the last one actually. Yeah, um, in the summer where I live, there's this huge farmer's market that come into um, just down the street from mine. It's like so many booths and so much fun. We love going there. They come every other Sunday. So this past Sunday, the I was at the farmer's market and the flower shop had put out like their own booth. And um, I look hanging on the side of the booth is this huge giant basket of Hoya obovara. And I was really like, I was so shocked because I feel like this is the, uh, I've only heard people buying this from like the States, like a big full basket of um, Hoya obovara. But I was really happy to find this just like locally and like in the farmer's market. It was just like such a nice find. I was so excited to bring this one home. I love Hoya obovara. It's like definitely one of my original love for for hoyas it's just such a good plant beautiful i do find that i the one that i i have it's very slow growing um so we'll see how this one does i think 
but it's just so satisfying to see such a full basket already. All right, guys, I'm just going to put these plants back into the grill tent, show you how where I'm keeping uh, most of the Hoyas and the begonia, and then and then that will be it for for the video. This is my Mars Hydro grill tent, and um, I keep almost all my Hoyas in here now. In the summer, well, right now, the temperature goes up to like, it usually hovers between like 25 and like 30 degrees Celsius. And I find that things seem to be pretty happy in here. Um, so for the Hoya Obovara, it's so big and I decided to just like hang it on the side. I don't think it needs a lot of light. Um, I find that my other one kind of tends to bleach if I give it too much light. And same thing, so the Hoya Michelle, is still rooting so i'm not gonna put it like really close to the grill light the hoya um germany is here and uh lois is in here and uh, mega blaster is here too hoya where are you? The, the, this PNG 432 which is right here. And then the, the, the Loi province is right here. Um, and then the Soderoy is just underneath with all the other um, aeroids. Uh, and, oh, and the alocasia. I keep it just right over here on the bottom. Um, actually, there's the non-variegated one is here too. Yeah, and then for the begonia and the marenta, I just keep it in my exoterra. Here's the begonia. And these are all the ones that I got from Amanda that I want to show you guys uh, in detail another time. And then the marenta, I, I just tuck it in over there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I feel much better now, so I think I'll be able to go back to filming on like my regular schedule. Uh, and I hope you guys are having a great summer and I will see you guys soon again. Bye.